If your empire invented unicorns, earthquake machines and megaships, you're probably ancient China, 4,000 years on top, and they still drop the mic. Here's how. Let's rewind to the Han Dynasty. Genius inventor Zhang Heng wasn't just building gadgets, he was saving lives with a bronze seismograph in 132 AD. Think a quake detector that dropped balls to show where danger struck, before seismology was even a word. Meanwhile, they drilled wells more than half a kilometer deep using bamboo. That's like plumbing before plumbing was cool. Fast forward to the Tang Dynasty, where Empress Wu Zetian, the only female emperor, ruled a world richer and wilder than any fairy tale. Poetry, trade, and a capital that made Paris look like a village. And then came the Ming. Admiral Zheng He's treasure ships, longer than football fields, he brought back giraffes, mistaken for unicorns. But here's the twist, when China shut its doors, the magic fizzled. So, what happens when today's superpowers stop looking outward? Who will history remember next?